What's up guys? Ready for some ACDC rock and roll ain't noise pollution? You're not. You gotta learn it anyways. Anyways, this is for a subscriber. Uh, Hellcat77. Standard tuning. Um, got distortion. But it's not like this heavy Metallica distortion. So back your gain off a little bit. And what I'm doing here is I have the volume maybe on like 7. But it's on the distortion channel. We're going to start it that way. Uh, Angus Young is using a pick and fingers. Really cool. Um, I've actually had lots of requests for this one, so it's time. And we're going to reach a point where um, the volume gets turned up to 11. So, ah, okay, ready. Here we go. And I'm, I'll play the parts we're going to do, which I think is two or th I think two parts. Anyways, let's do it. Since I'm feeling it, let's do it. I forgot it, guys. No, seriously. No, that's wrong. We're not going to do it. I never did know. Ow. Anyways, I think it's like that. Scratch that. But this intro is killer, man. Amazing intro. So let's slow this down a little bit. I want to show you what Angus is doing because he's using um, the pick and the fingers at the same time. And not for all of it, just like specific parts. So I got to make sure you see both hands here. What you want to do is uh, it's based out of E major here with standard tuning, if I didn't tell you. And uh, it's based out of the E major chord. But all you need is this G sharp, which is fret one on the G. And the two opens, B and E. Okay, and then you're gonna strum those. Yeah. And then go to the second fret, G and B. I like to bar that. So we have. Yeah, we're good. And a lot of people are missing this high E on the beginning. Angus is hitting it. I can hear it. Then go 3B, 4G, hit those, vibrato them. Angus had that quick BB King type vibrato. So we have. Then and a lot of people are missing this too. Back to the 2G, 2B that I'm barring. And you're gonna hit, you're gonna pluck those with your middle and third finger, and then with the pick, um, hit the A string. And you're gonna hit them all at the same time twice. And then go back to 3B, 4G, and do the same thing with that open A on it. So we have. And 
then you'll go three E and just like half step bend it and then go open E two A two D at the same time. That's the first half of it. The second one's a little different. So we have. Then start it over. And when you go back to this, where we do the pick on the open A, pick and fingers, go twice, and then back to this G note, three E, and do you know your bend, and then move up to an E power chord with an octave, seven A, nine D, nine G. Okay, and just. And it's an exaggerated kind of slow slide. So let's play all that. Here we go. Start again. Okay, that'll, I think, was four times. I'm not positive on how many times. And then when it picks up, it's the same thing, as I said earlier, um, just with the volume up. So take your pinky, raise the volume, and just repeat all that. You can pick a little harder. come out of that you're gonna stay on the chord the, well not the whole the rest of the song but you know Three, four. let's do that part so the verse hit open E A and D and hammer on to the second fret on the A string now you've probably played this little blues riff before is that concept but we're hammering to that and then go open E 4A hit them together and then back to open E 2A and then uh, third fret E so we have and then third fret E half step bend and then open A second fret D played at the same time so the A power chord and hit those together and then open A 4D Back to open A, 2D. So you have. When you hit this A5 power chord, actually hit it twice at first, like. And then go to this. And then the next little chunk here, which is missed a lot too, I think, uh, is the 4D sliding to 6. So it's a whole step ascending slide using the third finger. Once you get to the sixth, leave it there, don't lift pressure off, and drop your index to 4G, and go down up on that. But when you're hitting the down up, you're still hearing this A flat note that we slid up to. Okay, so. And then, like I said, we're not going to mess with that other chunk that was going on. I'm going to stay standing for the rest of this. How's that? Do I want to? No, I don't. No, I don't. Because you guys will be like, dude, you shouldn't even be out there teaching right now with your back like that. You just shouldn't. Um, anyways, if you have questions, guys, little brother know. And I'll help you out. Standard. Why did I go higher? Standard for the tuning in this and uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel obviously um, also rockinguitarlessons.com uh, it's still coming very very soon even though my computer caught a virus last night and I'm in panic mode but we're working on that as I speak uh, but if you go to rockinguitarlessons.com the temp site that's up as of right now a uh, couple things I want to point out. One, fill out that contact information if you haven't done it yet. Only take you a second. 
and um, that way you know when the real web website's live and it keeps you in the loop. Everything here on YouTube is being transferred to the website. It's st I'm still going to have this channel, guys, but I'm trying to make rockingguitarlessons.com your home, basically. So everything that's here will be on the website instantly. So it's not like you'll get it first here and then, you know. So be clicking rockingguitarlessons.com is what I'm getting at. My email, mike at rockingguitarlessons.com. Um, also, if you're interested in guitar, bass, or vocal lessons, on the website, rockingguitarlessons.com, you'll see a, a tab up top. It's the third one over, I think. And it says Skype lessons. All the details are there, the requirements, everything you would need to know. Um, my Skype name is Rock and Guitar Lessons. Um, that's going to be step one, is adding me there. And um, we can get you set up. It's $59 an hour, $34 for a half an hour. And we work on whatever you want to work on and get it done the right way. And if you don't know, I'm a guitar teacher. So I will know what to show you. All right, so where are we at with time? Okay, we're okay. Um, I think that's it. That's all I needed to mention. But um, de read the description below. Definitely come and join the party on the facebook.com slash rock and guitar lessons. We got some cool uh, Q&A question and answers over there. And um, I'm putting one up daily for you guys. And I'm also taking suggestions. So if you guys want to uh, throw some questions my way, like today's question was... Uh, what are the first three concerts you've been to? Um, yeah, your first three concerts. But they're, they're the questions change each day. So come and be a part of the fun. All right? Add us on Twitter, all that good stuff. Um, like I said earlier, if you have questions with anything on this song, let me know. I'll see what I can. I'm getting super busy. Well, I should be busier, but because of me breaking my back, um, I haven't been able to be as busy as I'd like to. But, you know, there's a reason for everything in life that happens. So... Um, uh, that's it. I'm going to play this on the outro for you. Uh, make sure to go fill out that contact information at rockinguitarlessons.com. Until next time, keep rocking, all right? And remember, rock and roll ain't noise pollution. It ain't, right? If it's too loud, you're too old. That, too old. That's what Carl says from Australia. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you.